Let's talk about our experience at uh, really the two restaurants that the most people talked about up front and afterwards. Right. When yes. they said, oh, where'd you go? Did you go to Mir? Uh huh. And one of the Mir's was Stacy's. That was where we went our very first night there as soon as we got in. And it was so good. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's an old converted brothel. Yeah, yeah, which, you know, there are kind of a lot of those, as a matter of fact. I mean, and I know we have some of those here in Idaho Falls. We do. Some of the buildings downtown used mm -hmm. to be. Yeah. We used to be a drinking whore in town. What happened to us? <laughs> yeah, we need to get back to our roots. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually heard once, uh, one of the <laughs> people who worked at the museum was talking about an old letter that a brothel... Uh, I think it was like a madam wrote to her landlord and she basically said like, Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm really sick. But as soon as I get back on my back, I'll get you paid. <laughs> and first of all, <laughs> right? I love the humor. Good for wow. her. <laughs> but yeah. And also that is one profession that you cannot work sick. Yeah. Not really. Yeah, I, no. yeah. I no. wouldn't want to be on either end of that. No, same. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, but at Stacy's they had we got the steak, of course. Of course, yeah, you got the steak. Country. I got some walleye because I'm a fish girl. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they had some dill pickle soup. Oh, let me talk about the dill pickle soup. Yeah. So the entire time we were eating this, I was just trying to figure out how to recreate it, and I was actually very pleasantly surprised that it came out the way I envisioned it. Because okay. when they said dill pickle soup, I thought to myself, okay, there are two ways they could go with this. They could do like a beef broth base with dill pickle pieces in it. But I was like, okay, but realistically, the better way that they would want to do that, I think, would be like a creamy dill, like a dill cream soup with dill pickle pieces in it. Almost like a pickle chowder. Yes. Or a cream of pickle. Yes. As yeah. weird as that sounds. It does sound weird, right? And thankfully, it was the creamy kind, which is what I was hoping it would be. And um, it was kind of more like a ranch pickle soup. Yes. Yeah. Right. One of the things I love about living in Idaho are all the Mormon snacks. Right. Including ranch and dill pickles. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to take some time to recreate that soup. Maybe even find a way to make it like a little carlified, you know, like mm -hmm. make it air quotes better to my taste. We also yeah. had the uh, Rocky Mountain oysters. Yes. <laughs> I never would have tried them ever. Oh, really? But you've been on this exotic meat kick. I have. And I'm like, ah, oh, what the hell? Yeah. I, th I think I said, let's do it for the pod. Right. Well, and realistically, too, <laughs> if so many people are eating it, it can't be that bad. Yeah. That's sort of the route I'm going. Now- don't get me wrong. That's not going to get me to eat everything. I'm not going to eat crickets, damn it. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> but, you know, everything else. Not even on Pioneer Day? No. Not even to help out the no. Mormon cricket population? Especially not to help out the Mormon <laughs> cricket population. <laughs> I will leave that to the seagulls. That is their job. Right. <laughs> I'm not stealing work from those sweet little waterfowl. <laughs> Tell you what, we won't feed the seagulls McDonald's <laughs> fries on Pioneer Day so they can go and eat some Mormon crickets. There we go. Perfect. But, yeah, the... the uh, they tasted like chicken. I hate to say it, yeah, but they kind of, as you can see here, mm -hmm. they kind of came in nugget form. Mm -hmm. They certainly looked like the outside of a, if you don't know <laughs> what Rocky Mountain oysters are, they're, they'll just say it. They're bull balls. Yeah, bull testicles. Um, and, I, and I asked, I said, is this the inside or the outside? And she says, oh, that's the inside. Yeah. But they're so smashed. Mm-hmm. Ow. <laughs> and I really felt like I was betraying my own. <laughs> I bet. I eating bet. those balls. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had balls in your mouth before then? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> um, but <laughs> thank goodness the deep fried breadedness mm -hmm. surrounding the thing was two thirds of the nugget. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, realistically, between the deep fried, uh, you know, breading mm -hmm. and the sauces, like you didn't really taste much else. Right. You know, those things so how tasted did they like taste? whatever you dipped them in. No idea. <laughs> it tasted like fried something in ranch, dipped yeah. in ranch. Fried giblets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that Carl's Jr. commercial? I think they were launching their chicken tenders or something. Uh -huh. But the tagline was, because chickens don't have nuggets. And then, the boy chickens do. <laughs> Kidding. Right. They're looking at the chicken. <laughs> right. Those poor those poor molested little chickens. So we ate the beef nuggets and yeah. um, you know, one in Rome. Yeah. I thought it was nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> then everybody was telling us to go check out Jam in downtown Bozeman. So we went. And I'm so glad we did. Oh, man. So cool. Okay. So when we were there, I got, of course, the Eggs Benny flight. And it was the best. So I ba- so they have four different versions of Eggs Benedict that you can get. They have the standard. Yes. Then they have a chicken and waffles Eggs Benedict. Mm-hmm. The Mia Eggs Benedict. And the chicken and waffles Eggs Benedict substitutes the the English muffin at the bottom with a waffle. Right, because of course. Little maple syrup dribbled, dribbled uh-huh. over the top. Mm-hmm. A little gravy too. And then some hollandaise uh. on top of that. Sauce on sauce on sauce. And you said the caprese... Yeah, so the Mio one was sort of a Caprese thing yeah. going on. So Tomato, had, mozzarella, mm-hmm. balsamic vinegar, mm-hmm. and, and a, a little prosciutto. A little prosciutto, mm-hmm. and you plus it. That was an extra, but I think it was worth it. Was it was so good. So good. Yeah, and all of these had poached eggs and hollandaise on top. And then, right. And then the last one was a crab cake, Eggs Benedict. Which didn't sound all that good, but oh, was. My God. Fantastic. And of course, because I love seafood, that was the one that I was like, ooh, that's the one I'm excited for. But I think that I ended up liking the Mia one a hair better. Only a hair. And only because that balsamic was just slapping. It was so good. It was so good. And now, if you've never heard of, like, what's a flight? There are beer flights and wine flights and whiskey flights oftentimes presented to you as a progression where, you know, you sort of start light and right. work your way up to the richest one. Right. Like if you were doing a chocolate flight, you might start with a white chocolate over here and end right. with like a dark chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. So those four egg Benedicts, a flight was any, pick any three. Mm-hmm. So you had the chicken and waffles, caprese, the yeah. and the crab cake one. Anyway, if you have a chance to go to Jam, it's downtown Bozeman. Good mm-hmm. luck parking. Right. But right. we were able to do that. And then we went to, did a little shopping afterwards and Carly... Uh-huh. I think I might be getting into sound bowls. Yeah, you were really into that. So let's bookmark that, I don't know, for an episode where we have more time. Yeah. It was a fantastic time, Mm -hmm. and it's always fun, especially in little old Idaho Falls where we get so kind of myopic. It's always Mm -hmm. fun to pull back 10, 20,000 feet and be somewhere else for a minute. Right. I completely agree. And then it's so great to come home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. The one piece of advice I'll give is... Take more money for shopping than you expect to. Bozeman is a little more bougie, isn't it? It is. It is. Matter of fact, we actually saw that really cool piece of art called glamping. Yes. In one of the windows of the shops on our way to jam. Check this out. And Carly had to point it out to me. It was in an art gallery. And I just thought, oh, that's a setting in the Old West. But the teepee is Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Which I thought was really funny. I... Sort of thought that it was maybe a commentary on people sort of taking these Western places and making them sort of, you know, millionaire modified. Yeah, the joke in Jackson is the billionaires have pushed the millionaires out of Jackson Hall. Right. 